hello everyone welcome to this tutorial in which we are going to see that how can we create and save an html file in visual studio code so visual studio code is a code editor it is an ide that is integrated development environment that allows us to write codes from different types of uh, files it can help us to write a simple text file code ranging all the way to html css javascript typescript python any type of a code then once you have written this code then we can even run this code and get the output all in visual studio itself in this video we are going to see that how can we do that for html so here i have created a file sample.html in case you are not uh, familiar on how to do that so let us just do it together so i have closed my files what i'm going to do is once you have opened your google uh, visual studio code just go to file and click on new file then you can provide it a name so suppose I'm going to provide a name as header.html. .html tells it as an HTML file. Then you can save it anywhere. I'm going to save it in my desktop. So just click on create file. And that is how your HTML file is created. Now here I'm just going to write in some code. So I'm just going to write the HTML tags. Open and close the HTML tags. Then in the head, I'm just going to provide a title that is going to be my first page just like this you can just also add some html code and in the body i'm just going to write hello a simple hello so this is a body in the body i'm just going to write a simple hello so this is a valid html file this is what i have created now i want to run it uh, in the browser from my visual studio code only okay so how do i do that for that i need to go to extensions so that is available over here in the left corner if you just click it over here or if your visual studio code is looking something like this you can just go to the shortcut using Control shift x and here in search for the extension open in browser so as you're typing the results would be showing to you so it, let's just go into the first extension and let's just install it now we need to wait for a few seconds till the extension is installed since it is uh, showing uninstall over here that means our extension is installed let's just close this now come back to our html file right click over here so there is these two options open in default browser and open in other browsers that is because of the extension that we just installed let's just click on open in other browsers and here it will give you an option to open in all the browsers that you have present in your system so i'm just going to select google chrome now you can see that uh, my google chrome has been opened over here and this is how my page is looking so my first page is the heading so this is the title that i provided let me just show you side by side for a clearer look so here is my html file and this is the corresponding output on the chrome browser the title i gave as my first page this is available over here and then in the body i provided an h1 tag that says hello so that is available over here the h1 tag that says hello so this is how you can see the output of an html file directly from the visual studio code into your google chrome or any other browser that is available into your system that is it for this video thanks for watching